and hello guys every good name is taken here and welcome to another video and today we want to conclude my two um oh no let's say my one competition and my giveaway and so without further ado let's start with the giveaway first what you had to do is under this um comment your username and server and say something about the hellcat and um That's pretty much it, what you have to do. Also your server with your client tag in case you changed or mistyped your name. So let's go to the uh, way too overused comment picker and get our YouTube comments. We have 52 unique ones. Quite a small this, um, giveaway, but we were giving away a talk in the seven days of premium, so we shouldn't be worrying too much. So, Let's go ahead and do the 7 days of premium account first. And we get as a winner. Um, oh! Economist, economics made on Blitz. With a very long comment here. And I feel like just because he typed that much let's read it out in case any one of you guys is too bored to do so so let's have a read and what he says is i had an amazing opportunity to see the m18 hellcat in person on a trip to the usa it was at one of the museums i visited to have seen it in person was absolutely amazing a true beauty of a tank and super effective in world war ii it has the most memorable tank i have it was the most memorable tank um, to have seen. I used to play Company of Heroes as a youngster and was introduced to the Hellcat when I used the American Army. I was amazed by the firepower and mobility the tank had. I had battles with over 15 Hellcats storming the German lines and flanking the Panzer IVs and Panthers. Good times and now to play it in Blitz it's just amazing. I've seen the Super Hellcat on PC too. What a machine. So I can definitely see your connection to it. Thanks for the amazing content and congrats on 2000 subs. I hope you reach that goal someday too. I hope to reach that goal someday. And then we get his in-game names here. So, um, thanks for your amazing comments, mate. I definitely see where that Hellcat love is coming from. And it's nice that you can understand my love for it as well. You yourself will be winning um, seven days of premium. And yeah. Let's pick another winner. And this time it's going to be the Tog. And I'm a bit regretful for not giving this man with an amazing comment a Tog. But let's see if we can get such an amazing comment once again. And the next winner for the Tog 2 is Simon Suzik. Um, that's how you pronounce it, and it's revenge. So you men are gonna be winning yourself the talk too. Congratulations for you on that. And let's get to the second part of this giveaway, which was this one right here, or not giveaway, but my competition, which was for the RBM, as I was winning two tanks. Because I reached 5,000 subscribers, it was two tanks for TA8 from the tech tree premiums, of course. And so, what I made was have you guys play my favorite tank, the Hellcat, <laughs> and the two guys who do the highest damage in this um, tank will get the um, two tanks that <laughs> they can choose from. I also um, gave out a roll um, winning here. In case they would beat my record, which has not been achieved. And so let's just jump straight into the games, shall we? And let's go to second place here. Who is winning himself? What is he want to win again? Let me just clarify. He wants to win the Lurva. And it's Lolexd. Um, from Gnice. So one of the Gnice boys here has been playing the Hellcat. And we see that he's been fail tuning to get a maximum effort here. I respect that. It was not against the rules. Perfectly fine. And he's platooning with a T29 here on Lost Temple. 
So let's see how he's gonna play this bad boy. I'm not going to spoil you the results. But of course, if you are in the Discord server, you might have already seen them. Link to the server down in the description below. And let's have a look at how he is going to be playing this game. His ammo loadout is quite interesting. He's carrying more APCR than I do. But I guess as he's fail tuning, um, that's probably one reason. Um, and yeah, he has one uh, his adrenaline and two repair kits quite standard he's going into the city on oh, oh, lost temple here and yeah he is using a gun rammer what we can see from his reload 7.2 seconds he's using double food and fuel as well and a nice camo we gotta have to talk about nice cameras and he's already put in his first shot here into the ltdb definitely um unique way to play on this map in my opinion for the Hellcat is going here I rarely do it unless my team goes with me and he's already put two shots into this LTTB uh, looking to put in a third and is able to do so let's try it only one shot for um, dealing those 700 damage is looking to pick him up and can he not quite the Cromwell is the one to kill the LTDB and now he's going to proceed and get a bit more forwards here um, gets a nice max roll in as well onto the SU-152 definitely a tank that you want to maybe not stare into the battle arrow at and he is going aggressive here now as the SU was turning with him he could have sta sit safe there behind those boxes unless he was shooting AP and he's currently just waiting for his platoon mate to ram into the SU gets a nice snapshot in 700 there from the SU quite a massive shot gets a track shot only here so he's missing out a little bit on damage and as you can see he is able to pick up is moving in now quite aggressively there's still a heavy tank in the spawn goes for a track shot here again I like that gives him a little bit extra experience even if he doesn't get the kill or damage it's still quite nice. There's a full on Tiger P that um sitting there in spawn. Which he's most likely going to farm as this of course was a damage competition. This is definitely understandable. Yeah. This platoon mate also probably was helping him out here. And has left um, most of the damage to him with just Cromwell and the Tiger B in support. Now there's just a VK left, Panther M10 and a Yak Panzer 4. <laughs> he really wants this damage. Already up to 2.5k damage. His platoon mate is down to one shot. He has to be careful. Lol is down to 4 AP. And that's an issue with the tank that uh, probably many of you faced if you come um, took part in this competition. It's the ammunition capacity that this tank is having. It's only 30 shells and if you have 225 alpha damage with some good reload. It's really not a lot that you can do then. And you have to of course carry some APCR. You want to have some HE2. There's a Panther M10. He is screaming down. He's now down to a one shot. 16 hit points. VK has missed. And he's looking to put one more in. He's out of AP. So his damage is now. Or his damage output is less than it um, would be. And can he pick up the last bit of damage? He can. And he scores 3675 uh, 57 damage. He gets. How many kills was it? Was it four? Uh, it was four kills as well. He gets the Halonen medal. And yeah, just a really nice game. Um, he used his mobility well. He um, farmed a bit on that one um, AFK, but I mean, we can't blame him, can we? And yeah, overall, a really nice game. Definitely worthy of showing as well shot ratio was pretty good bouncing too but even then it just made him run out of ammo and that's really an issue with this tank which is why i run 25.5 because this happens a lot and so yeah you mate are gonna win yourself a t34 the tank should arrive um fairly soon i think monday is what i got told when i give them the message 
So let's just jump straight into someone who wants the Yacht Tiger 88. And definitely someone you should check out on YouTube. It's GC. Um, also, again, a Gneiss member. So Gneiss has taken this one home. And he's playing on probably my favorite map and tank combination here, which is Copperfield. Um, a map I've done good amounts of damage in with this tank already. Not a fan favorite to most people, but I actually quite like it. And the matchmaker helped him out as well. It's again a T7 match. And he runs um, similar ammo loadout to mine. He just has less HE and more APCR. Um, provisions and consumables are the same. He has a nice camo once again. Camo is important, guys. Always keep that in mind to put one on. He's using the gun rimmer here. Definitely the wiser choice. Your pen is good enough. And he's going to support the medium flank here with his Hellcat. And it's definitely a good idea to do, um, given that they will outnumber um, the enemies on this flank if he supports. And in case all mediums and light tanks go to this flank. But of course, as we can see on the minimap already, he is getting support from everyone else in the team. Good APCR there. Not sure if I would have shot APCR or tried it with AP, but it worked out for him, so no reason to complain there. He has the awareness that there are some tigers that he has to keep an eye on, and with everyone in his team going towards this flank, they corner themselves. So this is going to be a tough game, and there's the first heavy tank is now out of the game. Trying to get a sniping shot on that Tiger. Nice max roll. Already up to 900 damage. The Hellcat has quite the accurate gun, so you can do sniping more often than not. He has not wasted a shot just yet of his precious 30. Gets the shot into the Tiger P now as well. Has to be careful not to get blind shotted, which might happen in this position as well. Going forward here to see if he can spot something. And so far he's just been um, using its gun effectively, shot an APCR there, it was a wise choice. And can he hit that shot? He definitely does. Puts the Tiger P down to a two shot here. But they still are two tanks down, the VKP he is now taking quite a bit of damage. He was aiming for the track, unable to hit it, and is now being spotted so he has to be careful. He saw that angle on those CDs, really well done, so he does have the map knowledge and he takes his first bit of damage here against the Tiger P and gets his shot in return and now I would shoot APCR just to maximize the damage as he's a one shot with either ammo, but APCR is also a bit more consistent with its penetration. Uh, score is now 1 to 3, it's still not looking all too good, he already has picked up 2.2k damage. And it has slowed down drastically here. The Tiger P is still trying to spawn. Tiger 1 hasn't been seen in quite a while. And so GC here is making his way towards him. Tiger now has been spotted. And he shouldn't be spotted just yet. There's the Tiger. Aims some APC on the side of the turret. Does pen his shot. And is immediately retreating here. No point in trying to trade. With a tank that has more DPM than you, and he definitely knows that. Type now has been taken out of the game, so it's really not looking all too good. He's looking to get one into that Cheeto, might do a blind shot, actually doesn't have to. Puts the Cheeto down to a one shot, and hmm, able to, oh, right shot there into the Capola of that Cheeto. Definitely a tough shot, but he was able to make it connect. Still has an eye on this tiger here, but he's currently not approaching him. And so he is gonna back off here, try to support his team with the SU. He again has been spotted of course. Puts the SU now out of his life. Gets shot from one of the tigers here and has to be very careful. There's an SU nearly full HP that can one shot him quite easily. He's already up to 3.1k damage and he definitely has to do a bit more here if he wants to go ahead of Lord's damage. 
puts one more into the SU, he's still trying to spot out the heavy tanks. He's unable to do so and he's gonna go for a more rushing approach here. And puts one more into the Tiger. Can he put in the next shot? He is able to connect a second. And now everyone is gonna be approaching him. There's the Tiger P. And he is unable to win this game. Frustratingly shaking his um, camera as there was still a chance even if it was very slim. And he doesn't get rewarded for it. Now he does break lol's damage but he does not get an ace and I will go into that uh, in a moment. But he gets a tank sniper high caliber here 3769 damage. Well played to you GC you are getting your yak tiger 88. 18 out of 18 with 18 pens. The shot ratio there for being perfect. And yeah. Really well played. Just a team not quite working out. Has three people dying very early. Which really is a loss. All going on to one side as well. Boxing yourself in like that. Has not worked out. And now let's get to the reason why he didn't get an ace in case some of you guys are like oh he deserves it he definitely did but he sniped a lot he didn't spot the targets for himself meaning he shares 50 percent of that experience of the damage he dealt to the guy spotting and you need a thousand base experience in the hellcat to get an ace he cut short here with 920 so he didn't get one himself but it was still a really nice game well played and congratulations to both of these winners as well as the two that won the premium account and the talk. Um, this has been it for me for today. It's a third video for today so please excuse me for that but it just had to be done. I hope you enjoyed it and see you all again next time. Bye bye.